Welcome back, everyone. It's really nice to have you here for another week. Um, last week we talked about uh, making a new habit, how to create it, how to establish it. And today I wanted to continue with that theme about habit building, but also about how small improvements that we do on a daily basis accumulate and suddenly we are so much better with very small steps. So just as a brief recap, uh, this week we talked about a few things, including the two-minute rule applied. Um, you will see in one of my videos how I use the two-minute rule, especially for those days that we feel not as motivated. And, and the, other, the other thing about habits is about habit stacking, how we create a habit connected to another habit. Let's start with small wins. That's something super important. When we practice, uh, it's really hard to really understand how much we have improved after, after a session because it seems like we haven't done very much. The, the improvement is so little, it's hard to acknowledge it, hard to even see it. So it's much easier to see it over time, like a week or a month or a year later. Um, but it's really important to, as soon as we can see there is a small win, that we acknowledge it, that we take pride on it, that we really value it for what it is. Because this little bit of improvement that we can see will motivate us to continue practicing. For parents, same thing. If we make improve, small, small improvements really easy for the children to see, they will want to continue practicing more and more. That's the reason we have concerts on as much as possible, so that they can see that they are improving and they're getting better and better. Not just playing more difficult pieces, but playing those pieces more at ease. Um, so, there's a couple of ways that we can um, talk a little bit more about those small wins. And that also about using small time frames to improve something. So, for example, using five minutes on me, to, let's say, practice one difficult section that it seems impossible at the very beginning of the session or the very beginning of the week, something new that is really challenging. And we work on it slowly for five minutes and we leave it after five minutes, we don't do any more. Doesn't matter how good we got on that day. Then the next day we pick it up again, we do it another five minutes on it and we will eventually see that it's getting easier and easier. By the end of the week, it will feel so much easier. Um, another thing you can do is to record yourself playing something, especially if it's something that you already know. Um, at the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week, and then you see how much has improved after you have been practicing it. Really, really important. When you see the difference, that you don't just dismiss it, it's important to celebrate those small wins. So try for this week maybe. Try to just practice for a little bit and be do a before and after. You know, record yourself at the beginning, record yourself at the end and see how much that works. So that was the first kind of theme of this week. Second theme is continuing about that consistency, that daily practice instead of relying on motivation. We cannot rely on motivation to practice. Otherwise we will only practice when we feel motivated, when we feel like, oh, today I feel like I'm going to practice. Because like that, we will not be practicing very often. So best athletes and best musicians and best people at nearly everything are the ones that are consistent in the practice. They do it in a daily basis. So they do it um, so regularly that that small little improvement daily basis it really gets them to somewhere magical, somewhere that nobody else thinks is possible. Um, for example, Olympians going to the Olympics and winning medals. That can only happen if there is a steady, consistent practice. So how to beat demotivation or let's say not feeling like practicing one day. Best thing is do it really easy. Start with something really easy especially those days that you don't feel like practicing. We talked about the two-minute rule. That is, 
Okay, today I really don't feel like practicing. That's fine. And you're gonna practice for two minutes. Get my instrument ready. Put a time of two minutes. And I'm just gonna practice for two minutes. And before you know it, that happened to me the other day because I tried it. The two minutes were over and I was like, really? That's two minutes? <laughs> it didn't feel like I've even done anything. So most of the time we will continue to practice for longer because really, I mean, two minutes feels like we haven't done anything at all and we feel like oh, I may as well just do a little bit more. If you don't feel like it, you don't do too many practice. You can put your instrument away. You have practiced, even if it's for a very short time. Okay? Everybody can do two minutes. Two minutes is like nothing. So it's really easy to start practicing. Once we start practicing, it's much easier to continue. I recommend you try that, especially for those days like, oh, really, today I have to practice. Okay, let's just do the two minute rule. Let's try it out. Now, to get that habit really ingrained into the day, it's really important that, if it, especially if it's a new habit or if it's a habit that we're trying to re-establish, like practicing, we attach it to a habit that we already do. For example, we always brush our teeth, whether it's first thing in the morning or after a meal or before going to bed. We always do it at a certain time. We always do it after or before doing something else. So the way to do the practice is the same thing. We establish, we are going to prepare the instrument after brushing my teeth, or I'm going to prepare just before breakfast, and then straight after breakfast is there, and I can, I, I'll get to play. Do something very easy that you can attach to something that is happening, and then that will create a habit by doing it on a daily basis. Try to always do it at the same time of the day. Try to do, attach it to something that happens every day. That's why meals are good, uh, or getting up in the morning or going to bed. Um, for example, before and after school, it's good during the week, but it's not so good during the weekend because there's no school. So things like that. Um, it's, it's much better to attach it to something that happens on a daily basis. It could be that there are days that you cannot do it at that time, and that's okay, and then you attach it to it some, something else. But if it's possible, try to attach it to something that happens on a daily basis. Me, personally, and also for my daughter and many students, uh, find much easier to practice in the morning because there's more energy and there's more motivation to do a focused practice. But some other people prefer to do it later on in the evening, so it really doesn't matter as long as you do it and you do it always after doing something. So try this. Try to find, try to make a phrase, I am going to practice after and then having breakfast. I am always going to practice before this. And if you can also do it in the same space, like we talked about having a nice space that is uh, friendly and distraction free, well ventilated with sunlight, all those things. Right, so, just to finish off the video for today, um, I just want to make sure that we all are in the same headspace. It's really important, really important, to do a practice that is daily. This is a little bit like making a snowball. Can you imagine um, trying to make a really big snowball in one day? It's really hard, or in one go. But if you do it bit by bit, and you keep rolling the snow, the bit by bit gets stacking up and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually it's massive. And you won't be able to move it anymore, but you've been able to do it because you've done on a daily basis, and it's been mounting, 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 mounting. So the snowball effect is super important in this case. How to do this? Do really easy steps. Start with the two minute rule. Do a five minute focus practice every day. Record yourself before and after so you can see how much bigger the, small, the, the, the snowball is, how much better you got. And, and remember to always do it after 
or before another habit so that it happens every day. So you don't have to really make any effort of thinking. It just happens every day. Even the days I'm not feeling motivated, I know I'm going to practice that day because it happens after that. It always happens. I don't need motivation to brush my teeth. I don't need motivation to practice my violin. So that's where we need to get to. We don't need to make an effort to practice. It has to just happen. It's part of the day, it's part of the family life. So let's let's try this this week. And if you're able to send me some messages to see how you're getting on with your practice, if you need any extra help with anything, um, have any questions, whatever it is, uh, please respond to this, uh, make a comment, whatever it is, please send me some feedback so I, I know what to talk about for the next few weeks so that it's relevant for you. In the meantime, happy practice.